Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my dearest Leos, for their highest and greatest good. And here I am, I'm shuffling the wrong deck. We're going to start with oracle card messages, all right? Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please, regarding this person they're romantically, energetically linked to. Ooh, Leo, I've been having a tough time doing this reading. This is about the fifth time I've tried. So, Squirrel Spirit, believe in yourself, okay? And we get open to infinite possibility, okay? And we see time to let go. So, Leo, it looks like your person is letting go of someone or something. They're taking some pretty big risks that's going to require courage. So, that could be coming towards you, asking you out, telling you how they're feeling, apologizing. But they're open. They're ready. They're ready for this connection to like get off the ground or to go to the next level. But it does require them letting go of someone or something first. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my Leos. The overall energy, ooh, we've got the Six of Swords in reverse, so you might have somebody here returning. Um, or they've just experienced a little bit of mental conflict because it does feel like they're taking a leap of faith towards you. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancerian chariot card in reverse. They're viewing you as the Six of Wands in reverse. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, and the Lovers in the Upright. Okay, and we get the Four of Swords. I was checking to make sure I didn't have the whole deck upside down. All right, so we see this powerful number sequence 666, which contrary to sort of pop culture is actually a beautiful Venusian number. Um, it's about balance. It's about love. It's about, um, it's about stability. Sixes are beautiful in numerology. Um, with the six of swords in reverse, your person is definitely experiencing some conflict. Um, and it's most likely because there's distance between you and this person with the chariot card, Cancerian energy. So they could be at a physical distance or there's emotional distance here. Leo, this person feels like you're ignoring them. And I think they're a little bit jealous too. Or they might be a little bit worried that you have other options. Right now, they're kind of holding back. And I feel that they really don't want to miss this opportunity. But I think they're a little bit worried that maybe they've been sleeping on this. And with the lover's card here, you've got a really big decision to make. Now, I said in the beginning, I've tried to do this reading a number of times. And the last time I tried to do it, it got so confusing because there were so many people showing up in this reading. So for many of my Leos, it is possible that you have a few different options. Um, but let's go ahead and see. So we have the Six of Swords here. It feels like this person wants to come back around. And we have the Emperor, Aries energy. So some of you, you are dealing with your Divine Masculine here. He is holding on to this trident, which to me is really interesting because it feels like this person might know that you have options here, maybe between them and someone else. Um, but that, of course, that's not going to be for all of you. Um, I do feel that this person knows that they need to step up. They need to stop holding back if they don't want to lose you. And we get the Four of Cups energy in reverse. Yeah, this person may have been quiet or they may have been holding back a lot emotionally um they know they know they have that that has to change in order to have a future here with you so the chariot card in reverse tells me they're feeling a little bit stuck they're feeling ignored and there's a lot of conflict here this person might be a little bit jealous and the three of pentacles but they want to work it out I think this person's worried, Leo, that they have competition. Some of them, they know they have competition. You have options available to you. With the Three of Pentacles, it's interesting, though, because they want to give the situation, the connection, the works. 
they want to find common ground. They want to work together. They see you as like, a, you know, they see you as compatible. They want to get on the same page, Leo, in a very big way. So with the Six of Wands energy in reverse, it feels as if, sorry, they feel as if you may be ignoring them. Maybe you're seeing other people or your attention is just really divided. Yeah, see the Aries energy with the Fool in reverse. See, they think you don't want to take a leap of faith towards them. I think they're still going to come in because this energy of them believing in themselves, it's like they're preparing. Some of you, they might be writing messages and, and deleting them or they've been like rehearsing what it is they want to say. But I think they're really worried that you're going to reject them, Leo. And we see the Ten of Swords energy in reverse. And those of you where you have had an ending with this person, I can assure you that they are freaking out. They feel like you've healed, like you've moved on, like you're going to reject them, like you're going to say no. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to come in. Those are just kind of like their biggest fears that, you know, I don't know if they're coming to the surface or not because this emperor most likely is not showing a whole lot of emotion, but your person, I feel that they're, you know, I feel like they're puffing up their chest. They're doing breath work. They're trying to figure out, um, you know, how to make this work, hoping that they're not going to get rejected. So what you don't see is the ace of pentacles energy in reverse. Now, for some of you, this person may be ending something because we see this energy of time to let go. So they might be rejecting or saying no or ending something with someone or a job or a living situation or you know they may be moving to come towards you. This person is very worried that they've missed an opportunity. Maybe they feel like they've slept too long here in the 10 of wands, but they are going to get something off of their chest. They're ready to make changes. They're ready to um yeah, they're ready to like make some serious moves to have this have this new beginning. And with the Page of Swords in reverse, this person has definitely been spying on you. They've been strategizing. They, this person wants to win, um, but they definitely have a lot of insecurities here about you know possibly being rejected. And I, I feel like that's normal. I feel like that's human, right? When we like someone as much as they like you, they're just worried that you're going to say no. So we have the lover's card, Gemini energy. So we have strong Cancer, Gemini, Aries. Aries coming through very strong. Let's see. So you have a really big choice to make here, Leo. And we see the King of Cups. So Spirit's telling you, you're going to get a love offer. More than one, most likely. But this King of Cups, I always find him to be so attractive. Um, like very in touch with his emotions. Um, but very powerful. And at the same time, so I, I feel like this person is going to dig down deep and, and really let you in. They're probably going to surprise you because I feel like this person doesn't normally, doesn't normally emote very much, if you will. Yep. And talking about surprises, we have a tower moment. So Leo's, you've got a really big decision about whether or not you want to um, move forward here with this person. They certainly see you as compatible and they want to work things out or get on the same page with you. Some of you, it could be an ex or somebody you have been dealing with. For others of you, it may be like a secret admirer or somebody that, you know, that's just really kind of nervous around you. But we have the energy of the Ten of Cups. So a lot of you, this is going to lead to a higher level of commitment, stability, love, marriage even. So this is a very important connection coming towards you. That's what it feels like. All right, let's see what we need to know about your person. What do we need to know about your person's journey, what they're thinking, what they're feeling? So we get growth. Yep, they want this connection to grow and expand. Yeah, they've been doing some soul searching here, Leo. They want victory with you. And we get blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And I also feel for those of you where you're in a separation with this person or they haven't been open about their feelings, I feel like they're they're in that energy of, you know what, if I let Leo go or if I miss this opportunity with Leo, I'm going to kick myself forever. Yeah. All right. So let's see what messages come through for my Leos. We have forgiveness. So some of you, you're being asked to hear this person out if it's a past person. Um, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, so forgive yourself and this person if you want to move forward. Forgive, you know, forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean absolving anybody of accountability. Um, 
but it's about, you know, and it's not about like, you know, sweeping anything under the rug, but it's about learning that lesson, loving the lesson that you've learned and allowing you to move forward. Yeah, so there's a lot of success coming to you, Leo. A lot of you, this is going to be a very powerful connection with the Ten of Cups, one that may lead to marriage or a higher level of commitment. Um, I know that there's no greater goal than to love. So I see a successful union here. And this person's coming in with an honest truth. But Spirit's asking you to be honest with yourselves, first and foremost, if this is what you want. And a lot of you, you do have options here. You may have to choose between two people. So I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So make sure that there's trust with whomever you choose. All right, let's see what else we can get from my dear Leos. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So Leos, apart from this connection, I feel like there's some very successful news coming or some success coming when it comes to career and finances for you. Um, I'm also just seeing here that you've learned a lot of tough lessons in love and now it's your time to receive. For a lot of you, this is looking really good. All right. So this person is unable to give you all you deserve. So that's what you want to focus on. Can they, are you compatible? Do you share that same vision for the future? Can they give you what you're looking for? And some of my Leos with that lover's card, you're going to be making a decision as to who, who is available and who isn't available to give you what you deserve. For a lot of you, this person may not have been emotionally available in the past. They definitely regret that and they're definitely coming in to try to change that. And your soul remembers this intense connection. So for a lot of you, this is some sort of reconciliation. Um, but if this is somebody new in your life, there's definitely a familiarity here as if you've known each other before. Really trust your intuition here, Leo. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm gonna ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Leos, take care.